Hey YouTube, the laser shooting robots return with a new NECA review. Uh, from the Aliens line, we've got, got Lieutenant motherfucking Ellen Ripley. Uh, yep. Apparently, oh my god, now I'm gonna, how am I gonna return this thing yep. when it looks like this? It must now you have to keep it. I do have to keep it. I was gonna keep it yep. because I've been waiting a long yep. time for this figure. Um, I'll stop. Picture perfect representation from Ripley's from the Aliens movie. The sole survivor of the Nostromo, Ripley is discovered in a cryogenic sleep 57 years later by a salvage ship when she is taken back to Earth. Ripley learns that the company has established human colonies on the same planet where the alien attack originated. After all contact with the con that colony is lost, Ripley agrees to return to the planet accompanied by a team of colonial marines. Together they will rescue any survivors that remain and confront the alien menace head on. Get away from her, you bitch. I like how her feet are tied up in the bottom of the box. Yes. It is. It's very nice. So that's just the bio on the back. Also in this particular series of Aliens 5, we've got um, <clears throat> Bathhouse, Bathhouse uh, Bishop, we've got Ripley, and we've got the Alien Black and Red from the Genocide 2-pack uh, comic. Uh, no, that's not really Bathhouse um, Bishop. That's just a horrible... That's just when he got bisected by the... Uh, <laughs> he got bisected by the alien queen. So, anyways, let's take a look. Apparently her likeness, uh, Sigourney Reaver's likeness rights have been really hard to get. So finally, after 30 years, we are now getting this figure. I have probably slashed the shit out of the side there. You never keep them anyway. I don't. Who keeps packaging? Weird people do. I keep the boxes. I don't keep this type of packaging. Uh, I keep boxes for six scale stuff, I guess. I keep all the boxes. <sighs> I'm gonna grab one, I never kept any of those. No, I. <clears throat> uh, didn't do a very good job of cutting that. Shh. I'm drunk. Snips. Snippies. What's the thing you don't want to say, cough when they pull you over? I'm drunk. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Perfect icebreaker. Done. Blah. So, One second, you got a piece of tape here. Oh, bit of tape there? On the gun? Yeah, exactly. On the pew pew! But look, she looks so stern. Um, and now she's ready to kick ass. Um, there will be an accompanying uh, power loader review. Uh, well, no, the power loader piece I meant. Um, Really nice, but I don't know. I got the Alien Queen, which you might feature on the channel. Please request it if you like it, because she's huge. Um, We're we'll probably going to bring it to you anyway. Yeah. And, yeah. As the tape's coming off. There we go. There we go. Yay. So, this is her... Happy birthday figure. This is her duct-taped gun. So, it's literally got the duct tape you can see sculpted onto it. It's basically the flamethrower and the pulse rifle stuck together. Um... Very nicely done. Actually, like I didn't dark. expect to see. Holy shit! It's like Phoenix over here. Uh, yeah, really quite nicely dark. Done. <clears throat> and then that's birthday, just like Alien Resurrection. Ugh. Whoa, those are some high waisted pants. Thanks, 1980s. Um, so we've actually got a pretty good likeness. I was really torn about getting the first one from the first movie. I don't actually have the fond memories of the first one that much because this one had so many better one-liners like "Get away from her, you bitch." Um, but she's got the actually a really nice face sculpt. Um, some of the eyebrows on the previous one were really like mm, mopey dog, so it put me off purchasing one. But this one's got a got her stern demeanor. Stern. Um, she's got a bandolier here. Articulation is a pretty nicely ball jointed head. Or snap. Uh, shoulders. They're part of the really stiff neck of joints as usual. Shoulders. Shoulders. Here. Here. Ease them into play, ease them into play. Oh, Jesus. This thing does not want to move. I got some weird right here. There's a very shiny spot on it. Like a super yeah. shiny spot on the hair. A little bit of gloss like right here. around here. Okay. So, <laughs> frozen right shoulder, camera, not but it looks like a piece of metal stuck in the hair. We've got elbows, we've got wrists, um, waist, she's got the really funky, god, these pants are big. These are like mom jeans as like <laughs> space. Like rubber, like the, you know? A little bit, there? yeah, kind of like the rubbery thing going on there. Uh, oh, she's got a bit of, she's got, she got a waist actually just above well where your normal waist does not end on these pants. Um, <clears throat> she's got th movable thighs, she's got the neck and knee, and then she's got the ankles. Um, these are, these are actually... 
screen accurate, uh, minus the branding, and these are actually given Reebok's blessing, actually, as well. So I was like, oh my god! And I'm really perturbed by the shoulder right now. Let me see it. Yeah, I don't want to break it. Oh my god, she was like, prices have gone up again, so she's like, you're 30 bucks. 35 bucks, not including tax, so, uh, yeah, I'm kind of hesitant to break it. Um, but no, this is actually a really, really nicely done figure. Um, apart from this QC issue, which I'm not And the uh, paint in the uh, uh, joint. Yeah, there's that, and the sweat stains. Honestly, they don't look that great. They look like gray splotchy paint. They do look gray splotchy paint. You know, but hey, she was sweating up a storm in there, because this is when she was storming the, uh, the, the alien queen's lair to free her friend, her surrogate daughter, Newt. Newt! Newt! Yeah, that joint's not moving. Yeah, so I guess we'll probably free it up later. Um, I would really. I can yeah. see the paint cracking on the plastic. Oh, jeezy, Pete's. No, oh, no. I have to put the freezer on her or something. Anyhow, this is really bad for the review. Um, it's just a. Uh, that's the problem with painted joints. Yeah, no. But, anyways, it comes with a hobby. So, anyways, let's put her away. You still bend the elbow. You can. So, you guys can still get in the right yeah, pose. It's kind of like my Hicks, too. He's actually got a bum. Forearm on one side. That's so, NECA does good figures, but that's the problem with them. Sometimes they do have. No, it's been a while since I've got a NECA dud, but this is not good. I mean, I'm a little disappointed right now. Cause yeah, you have some pants flake off from the. Uh, I mean, I've been waiting for years for this figure, and now she can't even get her elbows right. So anyhow, you're finding pieces of paint, are you? Yeah, you're actually finding some pieces eh, of paint. Eh. Okay, well, normally if the other right shoulder was participating, we can kind of get her in a pose. Um, yeah, this quality thing is really kind of peeving me right now. But, um, I don't know, this is actually really nice. I really like the sculpt. Apart from this potential thing here, the paint's actually really top-notch. Um, again, neck with all the neck pieces, so try to pick your face if you can. I know it's something you can't do if you're online, but hey. Um, no, really good. Um, it is a nice figure, it's just... I don't know. This, this... The paint for the sweat, they could have just chose the. Uh... Yeah, it's quite. It's just, dark. It's just like she fell in the tub of silver paint. Or that, or I thought it was part of the elm look like it was part of the shirt. So it's it's been done a little overdone. Yeah. So, but you know, she's dingy, she's dirty, she wants to get the hell off this planet and prepared to jump in a giant metal armor suit to fight off an alien queen. So, all in all, Aliens Ripley! Ripley! I, don't think that, I think with the Wait, armor suit, that, el that shoulder won't actually get in the way. It just basically moves the elbow, I think. Yeah, that was the thing. So it might be a compromise. If someone can rain $100 on me, maybe I'll buy the freaking power loader. But for now, she'll stand here stern. Stern. Alright, thanks for watching YouTube, and uh, we'll see you again next time.